They dance with passion and with a purpose. Seven women with a common gift, sharing it with thousands. They are the Lineage Dance Group, based in Pasadena, California, but some performers travel from as far away as Seattle, donating their time and their talents to help various charities. This performance raising money to fund research for breast cancer. It's just an idea that has really worked well for us um, because there's so many, obviously there's so many worthy causes out there and um, it's just a way that we can try to make a difference but also we get to dance which is what we all love to do and um, we get to perform. With dozens of venues behind them and having raised tens of thousands of dollars for everything from AIDS to battered women, the women on stage feel they get something too, satisfaction in sharing their gift with others. Because we do that, we um, have an opportunity to perform more often and um, bring dance to people that usually wouldn't watch dance. And so um, that's also what we love doing is sharing our love for dance and getting pe other people excited about it. And audiences do react positively to what they see on stage, recognizing the beauty of women who not only dance for because I'd had my family when I was young, uh, because of all those statistics, and because I knew in my heart that I was not going to come down with any form of breast cancer, I was not going to get breast cancer. So it was uh, a minute of denial when I did discover the tumor. I don't know why it didn't affect me more disturbingly. You would think, because the word cancer is a scary word. I had confidence the doctors once they did the surgery and once I went through the uh, radiation, it's just gone. I just, you know, don't have any real reminders. I mean, other than being about a half a cup size smaller on one side, <laughs> who cares? <laughs> For me, each time the primary experience has been that I've had cancer and that I might die. And the fact that I've had breast cancer has had significance only because in the, f the first time in 1988, you know, there were no political organizations, there weren't any foundations, that it was hard to say breast cancer, I mean even the word, and certainly I had a 12 year old son who one, at one point he said if you'd had any other kind of cancer it would have been so much easier for me. Uh, 